Greetings. How are you all? Hope everybody's doing well. I am fine. I'm actually more than fine. I'm feeling great. It is November 1st and this is my favorite month in the whole year. So I decided to come on here and share with you and my goal is to make quite a bit more videos during the course of November. November is my birthday month and I'm so happy to live in a world where there's Novembers. To kind of take a little bit from the famous uh, Anne of Green Gables line. I'm so happy I live in a world where there's Octobers. Well, I am so happy I live in a world where there's Novembers. And there's a couple reasons why I'm excited. Like I said, it's my birthday month, so I'll be celebrating my birthday November 30th. Super excited about that. And it's also NaNoWriMo month where we writers take on the task of writing 50,000 words of our writing project and try to complete that in a matter of 30 days, which is a very big order. So that's what I'll be doing. So I decided to come on here and show you um, the bag that I have been toting around and that's been helping me to kind of get things together and prepare for this month. And I'll be using this bag quite a bit this month because I'll be needing to carry some things with me to complete my writing tasks. So with that being said, here we have the Michael Kors Wright Wright backpack. And she's gorgeous. She's a beautiful, 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 soft, <sighs> pebble leather backpack. And she may look like a smaller size bag. She's actually probably, she's a good, pretty decent sized bag actually, little bag. Um, she carries a whole lot. And I wanted to show you what she carries, what I'll be carrying around for November. Now, a couple things. I have a 15 month old and his father in the room next to me and he's trying to keep him quiet so I can get some writing done and so that I can make this video. So you're probably going to be hearing Elmo songs, you're probably, you might hear a little bit of crying and you might hear some manly grunts and some other noises and that's my family. That's my family. And I got a so, without any further interruption, let's talk about what's in this bag. Now, the bag has these super sturdy, nice and thick straps. And I love the stitching on it because it seems pretty strong, um, considering that it's going to be holding books and laptops and all that other stuff that goes along with that. It is pretty... Um, pretty strong bag and it's made very well as to be expected with a lot of the Michael Kors products. Now, I love the gold hardware. As you can see, it has these super cute zipper pulls. It has the Michael Kors name in um, gold across the front pockets. It has a teeny tiny hidden pocket back here that I haven't even, I didn't, really didn't utilize this week, but it's pretty deep. I can put my work badge in there. I kind of forgot about that hidden pocket. Let's talk about what's inside. Not too, too sure what's inside. The most important thing that's inside here, um, I would have to say, and I have a 10 year old that's going to, you might hear too, just again, just ignore that. I also have a 20, how old is he? I also have a 21-year-old who is probably going to be acting silly in the background. So I'm going to try to talk a little bit over them. But this is my laptop. And uh, it's a MacBook. And I am not a big fan. Is that upside down? I'm not a huge fan of Mac products. I'm sorry. I'm a PC girl. I'm an Android girl. But I got this two years ago thinking it would like help me to be a better writer. No, what helps you to be a better writer is writing. 
Um, so I use it because I spent quite a bit of money to acquire it, but um, it's not my favorite. I'm sorry. It's not. I mean, it's awesome for like when I was doing my daughter's videos and she was creating her channel and we did some really cool editing on it and all that good stuff. And eventually I'll probably get to the point where I make cool videos that can be edited or should be edited. But for right now, I just use it for writing and internet activities and that's it. But I'm a PC girl and I'm also an Android girl. This is being filled on an Android. That might be obvious, right? I promise in the future there'll be some better quality technology. <laughs> but right now, this is where I'm at. So that's that. Notebook where I jot down ideas. This is strictly for um, novel creation. So I jot, jot down ideas on the book that I'm writing. If new novel ideas pop up for future novels, it goes in here. And that is very helpful. Um, past few months, I've been really intrigued and indulging in my new hobby, which is um, creating junk journals. So um, I was cleaning out my desk at work, and I found some pretty good cardstock. And I'll be finding a way to incorporate this in some of my craft projects. So that's what that is. And here's some more of it, too. I couldn't see this good paper go to waste. Like, this is, like, really good cardstock. And I could not just, like, see it go to waste. So that's that. Here's a uh, notepad that I um, it found its way in here. I, j I tend to use these tiny notepads at work. So this one kind of found itself in my bag. There's um, more cardstock. Wet wipes because I'm a lady and because I'm messy sometimes when I eat and my hands get messy and I spill things and my face sometimes need to just be wiped and these are um, godsend so I always try to keep some wet wipes with me uh, work badge money manifesting wallet I made a video on this wallet a my last video actually and um Still loving it, still rocking with it, and um, yeah, love it. I'm a writer, so I'm always gonna have like, notepads and just random papers and things. And this, I'm a list maker, and I've recently gotten into um, planning in a in the most weird, obsessive, crazy way. And uh, yeah, so when I'm not toting my planner around, I have this tiny little clear doodad and uh, I get to just jot down lists and thoughts and stuff I need to remember and it's just quick and easy and super cute and I plan on like getting it kind of cute and fancy and all that but again that's part of the obsession with the planning and being a part of the planning community can get crazy and I'm um, looking to make a video about that experience. Here is the charger for the MacBook. And that is the main compartment of the bag, as you can see. Uh, and the back pocket has a manicure kit. Plan on getting back to the nail salon eventually. I'm hoping to do that as part of my birthday treat this year um, because I really don't have time to do my own nails and um, I kind of want some fly nails. I just kind of want some fly nails. This right here is my Fenty lip gloss. This one came out last year right around this time and I'm forgetting the name but it was I think it was part of her Galaxy collection and so that was cute. Small little comb because uh, every natural girl Needs a small little comb to keep the curls in check. So, keep this with me. And I have a piece of um, paper towel. I tend to, if I don't have like a makeup case, I tend to wrap my lip glosses in these because I find that when you put the, when you close the lip glosses, sometimes the rim gets a little messy and it has like, um, lip gloss residue or lipstick residue and I don't like that getting on the inside of my bags. I have a 
have some <laughs> girly stuff here. I just kind of like keep these with me because uh, you never know. I'm a girl, you know, things happen. And that is the back pocket here. And then we do have another pocket here. And I guess this is for like maybe some kind of tablet or electronic because your laptop certainly can't fit back here. But it is see it's padded. So I think that there's and it goes all the way down. So I think that some kind of electronic is supposed to be in there, but I haven't really utilized it. Um, on the other side, there are small pockets and and it's all lined in hot pink leather, as is the color of this bag. I don't know if you can tell, but it's just a beautiful hot pink. I couldn't pass it up. Okay, so this is a um, liquid eyeliner. This right here is Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. And um, it's giving me and my lashes life right now. This right here is a green. It's called Urban Jungle by Essence. It's a gel eyeliner pencil and it's waterproof and it's super dope i love it um i love these dark colors gem tones that pop on my brown skin gorgeous this right here is from the body shop it's called matte lip liquid in the color magnolia and the number is 026 and um, i love this i love this I never really did um, body shop makeups and lipsticks, but this right here is gorgeous. Um, yeah, so. And then this right here is my Sharpie pen. This is like, you know how some girls can't leave the house without their, like, lip gloss or their mascara on, or you should never leave your house without your debit card and your ID? I don't like leaving the house without my Sharpie pen. I love this Sharpie pen. This Sharpie pen gives me life. I don't feel like I'm, when I'm writing, even if it's just a list, even if it's just something at work, I don't feel like I'm writing if I'm not writing with a Sharpie pen. I'm just saying. And that's everything in these little tiny pockets here. We move on to the front. The front pocket is pretty spacious also. I have a little pouch, it's like a catch-all change whatever I'm um, dealing with whatever I don't want to lose in my bag I stick in here so this is just um, like a, we call it a change purse um, part of my phone charger the cord is somewhere missing uh, makeup comp makeup compact this is a um, mirror compact that's that we have two debit cards here and I don't know why they're not in my wallet but They'll get into my wallet in a minute. Some house keys. A small thing of hand sanitizer. Always comes in handy. A lighter. Can come in handy. And another um, <laughs> another part of my charger. A charger head. And yeah. Random. And then more paper towels. Probably for the other lip gloss. That I had. I don't usually have like a bunch of lip glosses in my bags. I just like I usually pick whatever lip gloss I'm gonna be wearing that day. That's it. But I don't know what happened. The past couple of days I've been probably moving too quick and not clearing out as I go. So that's everything in this bag. Um, the bag feels really nice. It is soft. It is squishy. It's leather. I was in the rain today. The rain didn't do anything to this pebble leather. Um, rain generally doesn't bother pebble leather, so that was cool. Um, it's it's fairly brand new because I got it. I got this, I want to say, a little less than a year ago, and I've probably only worn it two or three times. So I'm like, I'm going to rock this in November because I have to carry this tote bag around. So that is my bag. This is the Michael Kors Wythe, W-Y-T-H-E backpack um they had it at macy's and they went on sale and then like a last act clearance sale and then you can't find it on macy's anymore but you can find it um you can find it on ebay and it's probably going for like 150 it was much more than that like 290 something 250 um when it first um popped up on the scene so 
probably can get it for like 150 or maybe even better um, if you do some good searching. But I highly recommend it. You saw how much came out of this and you saw that I even had a laptop and a large size wallet, you know, um, and a bunch of other stuff. So this is a great investment and there's all kinds of colors out there. I just wanted something that was hot pink, something that popped. I was feeling um, the need for some color when I first bought it. And like I said, I finally am using it for November. So um, let's talk about November. So um, I've deactivated my Facebook. Um, I'm going to be participating very little on with my Instagram account. Um, this month I'm focusing on my nano writing. You know, month is upon us. That's from November 1st to November 30th, where you write, 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 write. So people all over the world, I think all over the world at this point, people are just writing and trying to get these 50,000 words down to um, move forward with their novel or finish novels, start novels, whatever it is. But the goal is 50,000 words. And I'm working on the same novel that I had been working on since last NaNoWriMo. Again, I have a 15-month-year-old, so in the course of this whole month, this whole year, it's been a lot of, a little bit of writing here, a little bit of writing there, a lot of work, you know, because I work outside the home, and then taking care of this child, this baby. And so, um, this month, I'm really going to get myself together and really I don't even have time to get myself together. This month, I'm just going to write. <laughs> and by the end of the month, um, I should have, I should be a lot, I should be done with this novel, um, which is the goal, and then can move into um, a, an editing phase. Because I kind of edited a little bit, but there's going to be a need for more editing, I'm sure, after this month is done. Um, so I'm going to try to um, document my journey and um, share with you. I started this morning. I'm going to bed earlier to wake up much earlier, and I'm writing in small increments throughout the course of the day. So when I first get up at 5, I'm spending that first hour writing. I go to bed at 10. That's been working for me this past week. Um, and then I get to work maybe 45 minutes before my shift starts, and I will write for those 45 minutes. And then um, on my lunch break, majority of my lunch, which is an hour spent writing. And then when I get home in the evening, it's going to get a little trickier. But my goal is to, like, ask my mom to adopt my son. <laughs> my mom um, is his main caretaker. Um, when I'm away, she does live with me, um, mainly for that purpose, to assist with this beautiful boy of mine. Um, so I'm going to ask her to just um, help more in the evenings with him. Um, she does so much already. It's almost like, are you really going to ask her to do more? But um, this is a goal of mine, and I'm super hyped and pumped and want to get it done. So I'm going to need all hands on deck. And it's only a month, and then I get to celebrate on the 30th of November. And the closer I get to my birthday, November 30th, we'll talk more about that. But I just wanted to pop in and share with you um, my current bag. Um, like I said, I'm not going to be using this every single day because you just can't pull off hot pink every single day, or at least I don't think I can. Um, but this week is definitely worked for me. I've found ways to work it into my wardrobes and, um, make it, make it happen. And so that's where I'm at and I hope you're doing well. And I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this. And I hope you come back throughout the course of November and see what I'm up to and see how the novel is faring and, um, see if I am still alive yeah <laughs> pretty much so thank you thank you thank you so much and i gotta get to writing um so i will talk to you soon be blessed